Wednesday, it's a Tuesday, and a bit like my special guest beer, um, in the middle of something, in the middle of the SJ Poor round number one, and um, I have the very rare privilege, I don't know if you can uh, make out that colour, I've lost my torch, I was up in the roof, um, putting the pink bats in and installing lights, but this is a very, very clear Ruby Orange, double IPA, and I've kind of got the notes. Hopped with Mosaic, Chinook, and Rewalker, and Nelson Sober, double 8%, double 8%, clocking at an 8%. It's the Hopping Beard from none other than Grant Baker. So, cheers Grant. I got this and a big ass Imperial Porter, I think, so. Cheers very much. Just kind of keeping an eye on that pot there in case it boils over. Mm, yeah. Cheers, guys. I'm going to get a nose on it. A bit full. I only gave the misses a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's like a bag of hops. Dark, dark fruits. And some beautiful malt. Obviously, I know the hops that are in it, but it is none in particular are sticking out. It, it just smells very hoppy and um, some nice sweet malt. Anyway, I'm thirsty. The pot's just about to boil. Better check on that. I'm gonna get a taste. Cheers, Grant. Thanks a lot. Oh my word. I gave a little bit to the missus. Talking about the drink. And um, she reckon that was a little bit bitter, she said. But to me, that is spot on. This is a big bad boy. 8% double IPA. And that bitterness is just spot on. It's not harsh. It's just smooth and grunty. Carbonation is relatively low, but it's definitely carved. And look at the lacing on that. Holy shit. I'm not one to blow smoke, and uh, yeah, there's no smoke here, mate. Just gold. It's an absolute beast, Grant. And yeah, something that I'd like to kind of get to. The level that I'd like to get to, so. I'm going to sip at this. This isn't a smasher on the camera. Appreciate that. I'm off to Beervana, so just going to keep it short and sweet. Might put a little bit of East Bay Pool footage from tonight's brew on. And, uh, yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Grant. Happy Hungry Wednesday. <laughs> it's Chris from No Quarter Brewing. Empty. Empty. Need to do something about it, man. Okay, we'll do it. Here I am with Brandy Glass. Mr. Gibson. Yes. What do you reckon? What are you drinking? Crayfish water. Good? From, uh, batch brewing. Yeah, I've been wanting to try this a long time. Real good. Real good. What do you reckon? I can stay to that. Look at about 45. Crayfish water. Really nice, it's briny. It's um, if you've ever like cooked a crayfish over a barbie, it's almost got that smoked kind of taste, almost like burnt bone, but in a good way.
All right, we've done the Ivana. It was good. Good times. Met Steve Bell, well, there's a good story to that. Met Grant Baker. Um, superb. They say you can't beat Wellington on a good day. Beautiful Look at day. it. It's sunny. It's uh, relatively warm. And some spectacular beers. How do we get a ride on that? How do we get a ride on that? How do we get a go on that? Uh, great time. You have me to be Ivana. I'm not paid by the Wellington City Council, but um, I had a great time. So we'll be back next year. Yeah, tasting. You know, like we're not we're not pissed. It's just moderation. It's just enjoying the craft, and um, you know, go home to your families and have a good time. Reason for the season. No quarter brewing. Fucking force for union. We're out. <laughs> Beer barn until that's seven. Food and good beer. Yeah. Rodeo, Father's Day. It's a nice day. And I uh, thought I'd do a bit of gardening. Saw that all this shit. But what's that got to do with home brewing? Well, after a very unsuccessful, and I mean, there were no pop cones this year. Just dug this bad boy up, and you can see it started to take off again. You know, Mr. Snail, that might go to the chickens, I think. Yes, there's a good bit of uh, life there. Right, girls? Yeah, one will need it. Yeah, so, pretty much the trouble was, I didn't have enough sun and I didn't stoke it up with nutrients. I kept it fairly well watered. It had some really good growth, but I'm gonna leave it in this old wheelbarrow in case I need to transplant it somewhere else and stock it up with good quality potting mix and chicken poo and a bit of liquid fertilizer. Let's see how we go. 